Do you have a Google PageSpeed Insights problem? I know I do. I'm obsessed with the tool. I'm always checking my score, frantically clicking the analyze button, hoping that I'll get a mobile score that's in the green, but alas, it never seems to happen. Does all that sound familiar? Are you also stuck in the orange on the Google PageSpeed Insights score? You've tried some things, you just can't get that score up into the green. Well, this video could be the one to help you because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can speed up WordPress in 2021. I'm gonna show you how you can improve your Google PageSpeed score, and it's really easy. We're gonna be using some plugins. I'm gonna show you a few different plugins that I've tested out with uh, their results from Google PageSpeed and of course, GT Metrics. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to see which plugin offers the best performance boost. The site that I'm gonna be testing the plugins out on is bestpressurewasher.com, which is one of my affiliate marketing websites. And in fact, I did a full length tutorial on exactly how I created that site. This one, go check it out if you'd like to build a site similar. The site uses Thrive Themes, which is a fantastic uh, theme suite, I should say, because it comes with lots of extra things, not just the theme. Great looking theme. And to be fair, it's pretty quick without any optimization as far as themes go. But, you know, I'll show you all the scores and everything before any plugins are installed, and then I'll show you the effect of the various different plugins. And speaking of plugins, the plugins that we're gonna be taking a look at in this video are WP Fastest Cache, which is free. We're gonna be looking at WP Rocket, uh, which is not free. And we're gonna be looking at Nitro Pack, which is on a kind of monthly subscription. So um, yeah, I think that's enough intro. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all keeping well. So the site that I'm gonna be trying the plugins out on in this video is this one. It's bestpressurewasher.com and as I said in the introduction, I created it a few months ago. I did a full length video tutorial. You'll find links to everything I talk about, by the way, in the description of this video. The site is running Fry Themes, which I absolutely love. Such a powerful theme, <laughs> really good for making fantastic looking pages. And in terms of plugins, well, it's only got a handful, just the essentials. The site is hosted by, by me actually, it's on WP Eagle hosting. Well, when I say me, I actually mean Phil and his team at Spiderweb. He looks after the site and he provides some really high speed hosting, which you can find more information on by clicking the link in the description to go check it out. So that's the site as it is. Uh, if we run it through Google PageSpeed um, without any optimization, it is scoring, well, here you go, have a look. It's getting 59 on the mobile and it's getting 94 on the desktop, which I was pretty impressed with, to be fair. With no optimization, I think that's a really good score. Let's take a look at GT metrics. I'll put them up now. And again, this is without any optimization. We're getting a score of B and for performance it's getting 87%, for structure 84%. The largest content full paint is two seconds and the total blocking time is five milliseconds, which is quite a lot of numbers, but looking at it, I think it's kind of around average. So let's start with WP Fastest Cache, which is a plugin that I've used uh, quite a few times. I think it's really good and it's it's free. <laughs> so that's, that's always a bonus. And it's been kind of optimized to work with Thrive Themes, which is kind of good because this site is running Thrive Themes, in fact, when you go into the uh, kind of settings within Fry Themes, you can click through and install WP Fastest Cache and it will configure it to work really well with Fry Themes, which is exactly what I did. And, well, then I ran it through Google PageSpeed. So let's take a look. And as you can see, the mobile score has actually gone down compared to having no plugin at all. It's down to 45. The desktop score has jumped up by one point to 95. So not looking too good there for WP Fastest Cache. Let's have a look at GT metrics, see if those are any better. I'll put them up now. And again, they've gone down a little bit. We've got a performance now of 82%. We've got structure 75%. The largest content for paint is still at two seconds, but the total blocking time has gone up to 23 milliseconds. So yeah, that thing I was saying about liking WP Fastest Cache and it's okay because it's free. Well, actually you're probably better off not putting it on your site, especially if you're running Thrive Themes. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we got WP Rocket, which is a plugin that I've used a lot. I've been 
telling all you guys to use it because I think it's a really good plugin and it's had a big effect on my sites in the past. So let's have a look how well it's fared on this site. I'll put up the scores now. And looking at Google PageSpeed, well, not a lot has really happened. The mobile score is the same as without any plugins, coming in at 59, and the desktop score has actually gone down by one point to 93, but that's fine, you know, scores do go up and down every time you press the button by a few points. Let's have a look at GT Metrics. I'm sure that will be better. Hey, they've gone up. We now got a GT Metrics uh, rating of A, which is better than B. We've got a performance of 94%. We've got structure at 84%. The largest content for paint is down to one and a half seconds and the total blocking time has been reduced to zero. So certainly a bit of a boost on GT metrics, which if you read the documentation that comes with WP Rocket is their preferred testing kind of thing. And they say, don't worry about Google page speed. It's, it's irrelevant. Yeah, kind of see why now. So there we go, that's WP Rocket. It starts at $49. You'll find a link to WP Rocket in the description. It's an affiliate link, so thank you very much. If you use it, I will earn a small commission. I should say before we go too much further that the site does feel pretty quick, even without any plugins. It, it doesn't feel slow at all. So these plugins are really just about improving the actual scores you're getting on these tools, um, rather than actually making the site feel much faster because yeah, it feels pretty quick anyway. So anyway, those first three tests, I mean, they were pretty good, but the mobile score on Google PageSpeed was well, still not where I want it to be. It's still, you know, around the 50, 60 mark, still in the orange. And, you know, ideally we want that score to be in the green, you know, 90 at least. So it was time to pull out the big guns. And by big guns, I mean Nitro Pack. So Nitro Pack is an optimization service um, that you have to subscribe to. It starts around $21 a month or the kind of rolling monthly contract. They do have a free package available if you've got less than 5,000 page views a month on your site. It's really easy to set up. You just install a plugin on your site. You then connect that plugin to the Nitro Pack service and that's pretty much it. It does all the configuration for you, but you can jump into those settings if you want. I'll put a link up now to Nitro Pack and also a link in the description. If you use that link, not only will I get a commission because it's an affiliate link, thank you very much, but you'll also get 5% off. That's pretty cool. But before you rush off and buy it, I should probably show you the effect that it's had on the site. And it's pretty exciting. Let's put the Google PageSpeed score up. And as you can see, we're in the green, yippee! Hooray! We've hit 90 on the mobile, and if we take a look at the desktop, we're getting a score of 99, which is absolutely fantastic. But of course, Google PageSpeed isn't everything. Let's have a look at GT Metrics. What effect has it had on those scores? We've got a grade of A, we've got a performance of 97%, we've got structure at 98%, the largest contentful paint is at one second, and there's no blocking time and no cumulative layout shift. So we can see an improvement across all of the GT Metrics metrics. So there you have it. If you wanna get into the green, if you wanna kick the obsession with the Google PageSpeed score, then Nitro Pack could be the answer. You can try Nitro Pack out for 14 days for free. They've got a money back guarantee. So why not go sign up, try it out, see what effect it has on your site. And you know, if it doesn't work out, you can always just cancel it, walk away, no harm done. I'd love to know what you use to speed up your site. Have you been using Nitro Pack? Maybe use WP Rocket. Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I will try to reply to as many as I possibly can. To make sure you don't miss out on future videos and future live streams, just click that subscribe button, make sure you click the bell. And if you like this video, if it helped you in any way, please click the like button. But until next time, bye for now.